Hey everyone, this is Chirag from DCOnCloud.com. Today I would like to talk about Microsoft Azure Security Exam, code name AZ500. And even if you are not using Azure platform for hosting or for building your application, but you and un- you can understand that security is always a topmost priority by any business. So coming to the as your part this exam is specifically focus on the security and the security related services provided and available on microsoft plat- cloud platform and uh, from my personal experience i really like to share that security is the most asked question i have ever faced since my you know i started my career so security question from any level of you know ceo or from the business from the it manager and the it people come in a different way but ultimately the goal is to understand whether really if i move my application or if my, if i develop my application on cloud it will be secure or not so from last three and a half years i am doing the same and uh, I would like to share about my exam experience as well as whatever about the security I understand. I am always happy to share and talk about that. Another thing like from my again personal experience. So security is not a technical or technology problem. I believe this is a business problem which can be tightened and more you know hardened by using the technology or platform and tools but it's itself not fulfilled only with technology but lot of human effort human mindset all those things are required so if you are into the security domain you understand what i am trying to say but if you are new understand that security is a important important everywhere whether you talk about any cloud platform and uh, every cloud platform has its own way to secure the thing they provided a different different kind of feature flexibility so we will explore near video uh, near future about the different kind of feature but today we, i would like to talk about this exam specific so this is the exam page you search microsoft security exam or az500 you will land to this exam page and it will give you what is that te- what like exam will test about the different different topic and their weightage in the exam i will share like what uh, is my experience about the exam soon so you can see and you can register pricing depend upon the country so I took this exam yesterday morning which is a Sunday morning I say schedule it and schedule it from home I would like to you know see the experience by sitting exam at home and really in a simple sentence it was awesome it went smooth no hiccup happened and but what I did is I uh, scheduled it a very early morning I appeared for exam around 4 a.m and uh, because i believe at that time internet connection was was stable so uh, i planned to schedule like that so i appeared for the exam and uh, they did all the checking of my room where i have placed i need to show the walls surrounding and the table and uh, uh, i need to make sure no Uh, objectionable things will be available nearby like mobile phone and other uh, any notebook or these kind of things so after that the exam started after the verification and uh, there were around 48 question uh, 36 question was the multiple choice question all these and 12 was the task which is you can say performance based lab talking about labs quickly labs were i believe are straight forward so if you know if you really play on the portal if you understand the concept then it will not a tough like i can say that will be the you know passing uh, that will take you to you know passing this exam easily if you complete this 12 task and coming to the question yes associate doesn't mean that it is you know fundamental level exam it is considered to be like you can say a specialty or security uh, thing doesn't need i believe any title whether it's a specialty or associate security security so it is 
testing a good understanding about the logic about the understanding about really your own experience in as your portal if you really know how you need to you know set up the thing if you really walk through those portal blades and know about that uh, you know tool tips and what options will you know connect with each other how this can be secure i believe that will be the best way to pass this exam because even i got confused i have not scored thousand of thousand my score is little bit lesser than thousand right but it it really you know confused me in lot of question to figure it out like what option can be right because labs will come at the end of exam not the starting so that is i believe microsoft played it a very well way that putting a labs at the end of exam not at the starting so starting like it was some case study and make sure in the case study if once you pass those question or you know select those question you can't come back and review or change the option so you just spend your time on the case study and uh, try to you know select the best as per your own understanding and knowledge and uh, then you can proceed with the other question right so i tried and i submitted i took around 2 and a half hour including lab time and experience was good no lag happen in the labs and uh, all those thing and i submitted i was expecting that i will get result instantly but uh, uh, as i understand that it's a lab based so they need to maybe evaluate or something i don't know what is the underneath uh, mechanism but after around 10 or 12 hours i got my result i got a mail and then i open the portal and i see this beautiful certificate along with my score card so i was very happy because yeah it's it's a hard exam uh, if you are new to the security world and if you new to the uh, cloud world but it can be easy if you really practice very well i will share the tips what resources i use and what you you can you know try to learn as quickly as possible so but yeah really really happy to share happy to see a score as well as the certificate and it really you know build more confidence because there is couple of uh, services where i am not a heavy user and which i consider as my weak point but i really did well in that topic also so let's come to our topic and uh, how i used the resources to prepare for this exam the first and foremost thing just watch this video don't plan anything any premium uh, you know training and all this thing this is a very targeted video from microsoft ignite conference uh, which happened i believe few months ago and you search uh, you come on to this site my ignite and you will search from there uh, you know search option about az500 and you will land to this video just watch this video this video is almost an hour long and it covered very well and don't forget last 15 minute is a q and a right and it is really important that you watch that q and a very very good question ask in that q and a and i believe it will be very helpful to understand about what you can expect from the exam i watched this video twice and i make couple of note because couple of information which i was not aware like for the networks uh, network security group you need to have a 168 port open for the you know key management system all those and key vault other thing about a microsoft own static ip which is required which will do you know the health check or the agent checking uh, checking for the services so make sure you are aware about all those thing just watch this video maybe multiple time to you know make your mindset and prepare for the exam once you watch this video again i will highly recommend if you already working or have experience on azure then this will be the easy again search about the security uh, topic or the session don't watch i have not watched every topic or every session i watched couple of like specially on the security center specially on the infra side and the network side those are the important one and i tried to learn from those topic i uh, i took notes 
and uh, really it helped me to understand lot of concept so you can pick and another thing is it's also possible that in realistically we have not used every service and it happened with me i have not used couple of services in a big way or a heavy way but at that time the customer use case and those case studies really handy and really you know try to give you the realistic way that how the other as your customers are using those services to uh, secure their infrastructure and application so i highly recommend that just from the basic of infra security network security as well as the key vault and uh, that services like a security center as your firewall front door and uh, especially the biggest part is microsoft azure active directory personally i am saying that is the most important if you not strong about azure active directory because it is the core of microsoft azure and if you worked on gcp iam or aws iam this one is a bit different you need to understand about the rule back our uh, back and all those thing try to really learn try to play try to understand the concept i put most of my learning time on the azure ad side because the infra is something which i feel as i am doing it from day to day basis it can i can cover it quickly and the concepts and the fundamentals uh, are strong but the azure ad and especially with the premium feature it comes with itself a big you know a branch of study i can say from my experience right so i have put a uh, lot of time to prepare for that uh overall like i planned for this exam in two weeks so i started studying two weeks ago about this exam i scheduled it two weeks ago so i planned it i have not rescheduled a single time this exam and uh, it's not that i started studying eight hours a day or six hours a day because i need to follow my office also then it's something like i was watching the video while traveling as well as Uh, reading some blog post or the uh, uh, documentation about that product uh, features and how this is you know uh, working with the other services and maybe on a daily basis i targeted around one and a half hour to study and go through each service the major service which i feel which can be the my weakest and where other other where i feel that that is the strongest that i understand it easily so i put that level of effort and i schedule but again it depend upon a person to person what kind of work or field in which you are it may take 6 months also to prepare it may take maybe a 6 days also depend again a person to person there i think i can't comment like how realistically how much time required but for me i plan it for 2 weeks because prior to that i appeared for the some different exam so so i devoted the time for preparing for that exam also so now i am here with this exam and uh, it really cleared lot of my doubts lot of my you know understanding and again my experience i am using microsoft azure since the day of 2013 and 14 and i i can say i am one of a witness i see the changes about the service stability flexibility and the awesomeness now microsoft putting in their you know the cloud and that is their revenue driver now so so i am i'm like it's my own personal experience in this space that seeing the you know the ESM to the ARM model right like it's a as your service mo- service model to the resource manager model right so lot of changes lot of stability lot of features especially i like the azure firewall that is a damn good like a first class product by microsoft azure it can be bit expensive but for the production use case that is i believe very very small cost so very beautifully you know they have presented the services security center is another thing that is very uh, well tested and so you just have a look try to understand the different feature and don't uh, i personally don't found too much question on key vault or you know the new services like sentinel which is sciem and soar kind of services 
so i don't find a question on that but a mix match of infrastructure question as well as the as your active directory domain just have a look to the page uh, where the weightage is uh, uh, you know given for this exam so try to learn from those topic another thing so this is my go to go resources so even here i found recently like plural site they have published microsoft ignite videos so i have gone through all those videos to you know prepare again understand and these videos maybe you can have a look the identity fundamental security fundamental what's new in network uh, as your networking and network basics right uh, so which you can found freely here in this ignite catalog also but i found there is a path on the plural site i follow couple of course because it's a uh too many courses there which i feel that i don't need to go through each course uh you know one by one because those are the things which i am using on a day to day basis um, for my customer uh so i use the documentation also to learn about that and uh, some white paper i found and i read couple of blog post about how the services can be used in a different different way so it's a mix match of video as well as the reading i have not follow any specific book even i have a pack subscription so i have not follow any any book this time but it's a mix of a learning from plural site as well as the free resources available on the microsoft site and the best thing is you need to play so i started my subscription i you know started the trial i will share that even this trial is for the 30 days you need to have a premium license to use most of the feature from the as your active directory another thing is a free tier so you can spin up a multiple vms all those nitty gritty stuff you can play it easily but learning about the as your active directory you need to have a p2 license and uh, just a one tip you can join this office 365 developer program you will get lot of you know services free of cost for 90 days which you can freely again renew to learn i am using doing the same thing and also you can give the feedback also if you found something buggy or the feature you don't like or which you want to see something like that so i joined this developer program so one of my uh, twitter friend jan henley who is himself a big name in the industry he guided me i saw his tweet couple of months back and uh, i joined this program and after that i started exploring the services and again it's a learning i just create the multiple even multiple active directory directories it's not that a single i have spin up the multiple active directory in the multiple subscription i try to move uh, subscription from the one tenant to the different tenant try to disable lot of things try to create try to understand the difference between the on premises ad and the azure ad all those thing come into picture even i raise couple of support case that is also itself a one kind of a you know step learning that how you can raise the support case and the security center all those services i covered you can know about services from the exam page like all the common firewall network security group host security even uh, about the container security or container registry security all those things are covered you can follow the documentation as well as the ignite video to learn about that and then the plural site is there with the full fledged courses on all these topic you can put the time you can learn you can play until unless you will not play i don't feel that you know sitting for exam and passing for exam will add any extra value so guys open the console rather than only watching the video tutorials open the console put some effort put some time delete troubleshoot again rebuild it will give a learning for the long term not only for passing and achieving the certification so i believe these tips will be helpful so if you are planning feel free to reach out to me and all the best take care